What is going on everybody? This is always back with the next video of Java JDBC with MySQL training course and in this video we are going to learn how to connect to database. So in the last video we downloaded this map server, we set it up and we downloaded our MySQL connector for Java from mysql.com and we created a new database named school. Let me just show you quickly if I'm going to open my PHP admin and here we have a database named school that's what we're going to access and I've shown you how to create this in the last video and how to create a username and password to access this database now we have successfully created the database we got the drivers and we got the MAMP server running so now it's time for us to create a new Java project and then try connecting to a Java program to this database now I'm just going to minimize MAMP let's create a new project now i'm just going to click here to create a new project select category is java project is java application next and let's just say jdbc sample for the name of our project and then click finish to create a project all right so in the project i'm just going to get rid of these comments here all right so now we have created a project the first thing we need to do is we need to add that jar file which is a connector file in Java libraries so in the project browser I'm just gonna right click and then click on add jar and folder file and now you need to browse where you downloaded this mysql connector.java this bin.jar file so select that and then make sure you select copy to libraries folder and we're going to click on open and it's going to add that uh, jar file which is a connector file for connecting to mysql database so this is the file we have now we're going to use it so what we need to connect to database we need three things we need a username we need a password for database and we need a link to database so let's create three constant variables i'm just going to type private static final and type a string username is equal to in double quotation type the password or username so db user and private static final string password is equal to and then double quotation type the password whatever the password is set so db password which is the password I have and then we need to have a link for our database so let's just create a new static variable for that I'm gonna name it con uh, let's just name it the connection con it's fine and then here we need to type JDBC colon MySQL colon double slash and the local host so the server is our local host that's why we type in local host if you are accessing on the web then you need to type the proper link so local host slash the name of our database so let's go and check out what was the name of the database and in the php my admin i can see that i have this database school so that's what i'm trying to access so let's just type the name of that database as chwl school and add a semicolon so we have three variables constant variables which has a username which has a password and then we have a link for that now let's just go to the main method and we are going to use that well we can create an instance of a connection class so type connection okay and let's just name it con is equal to null okay it's gonna give us error because we have to import that connection so click on this bolt and make sure you select import for java.sql connection not com.mysql.connection right so just select this java.sql connection on top we have connected and now let's use that very well so let's just type con is equal to i'm going to use another class which is a driver manager for sql dot get connection all right so in the connection i'm going to press control space again and let's see we have three options we have the get connection with the url get connection with the property info get connection with the username and password so i'm going to select the third one and the first variable is our connection link so that's the link we have so we pass in that connection variable into this and then we have a username and then we have a password so now let's just add a semicolon this should be fine 
Now we need to import for another class, so I'll click here and uh, there's no class actually. So we this is basically giving us an exception, so we need to handle that. We can add this in try and catch block or we can just throw a clause for SQL connection in our main method. So this is the uh, throwing ex SQL exception that will remove this. And now let's just print out uh, something if that happens. So let's just start the system out and let's connect it. If there is no errors and we are successfully connected to database, then it will print out connected. Now let's just run the application and let's see if we are connected or not. All right, so it print out connected. That means we are successfully connected to database. There's a few things you could do. I just want to show you one more thing here. Uh, there is a statement here, class dot name, and uh, this basically I'm mean, just going to type the first com dot mysql jdbc, and here we type driver. Okay, so what this code is doing basically is just letting you import that uh, this driver file into the memory. But if you're using Java 6 or 7 or above, I'm using Java 1.8. So that means uh, in Java 1.8, we don't have to add this statement to access the database. So that was for old JDK. So if you're using the old ones, then you have to add this statement. Otherwise, you're good to go. And then what we can do here, we can add this to try and catch block as well. Because every connection we open, we need to close that as well. So to make this more... Uh, portable I'm just gonna add the try and catch block and we're just gonna cut this code and then paste it here all right and then in exception we're gonna catch SQL exception and if there is still an action we're gonna print out so s out system dot error dot print so let's just print this and we can type e and now we have uh, cached the SQL exception and we're printing out the E, whatever the exception would be if it there is. And then we need to close the connection. It's a good practice to do that. So here we type finally, and here we're gonna type if con, the variable we're using, is equal to, not equal to null, then we're gonna close this con.close method. And we are opening a connection here and then we're closing the connection here. So that's a good practice. Let's run one more time and let's see if we're connected. So, all right, so we are successfully connected to database. All right, so we're connected to database now. Before we finish this video, I just wanna show you the Java documentation as well. So here we use the connection and driver manager class. We use this get connection method. And there's a lot of people that get confused about where the hell these things coming from and how we as a developer we know what, what class to use. So I'm just going to show you guys the Java documentation so you can explore documentation and learn yourself as well. Let's go to the Java documentations. I am in the main Java documentation page and here in the packages what I want to scroll to, I want to scroll to java.sql package. In that package, we have interfaces, we have classes. So let's look at the classes. So we use this driver manager class to get the connection as well. And in the interfaces, we use this connection interface. Let's look at it. So you can read about interface, what it does, what it um, basically just uh, lets you connect to database. And then in that connection, we use this uh, driver manager dot that connection class. And we have the same class here and in that we use this uh, get connection which is which uh, led us to put in the string username and password so that's what we use and uh, that's it so you can read through this documentation documentations are very helpful for your uh, learning and uh, in the next video we are going to learn about uh, something like you know statements result sets and how to retrieve data and how to modify data so thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and stay blessed and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers